Agora o texto de Figueiredo. E nós vamos para o Senhor e nós vamos para o Senhor. O Senhor é para o Senhor. O ministro de Deus está fazendo o trabalho muito bem. O Senhor é para o Senhor. O Senhor é para o Senhor. Senior military uh, and intelligence officers, including the CIA, every year. And can you guess who the recipient was in 2010? Julian Assange. They don't want you to know that. Because once you know that, then you know that Julian is not an enemy of the state. You can see the military and intelligence officers know what goes on in war better than anybody else. When they retire, they can talk about it. When they retire, they can make wars. And the wars was the war was unanimous in 2010 for intelligence, in, integrity and intelligence for the release of the Iraq uh, war logs and the Afghan war diaries. Thank you, Mr. President. Mathematician and, and when I was young, I programmed computers. And I've always wanted something about Julian Assange. I've never seen his name on a chess championship board. Does he play the game of chess? I can't understand you. I'm oh, sorry. Slow down a bit because the sound is not good. Okay, I'll try to speak more clearly. Um, I'm a mathematician and I've always wanted something about computers. And I've played a lot of chess. And I've never found out whether Julian Assange is a chess. Yes. He used to be. He used to be. I look forward to playing him again one day. I think you'd have to be a chess player up against the US. <laughs> Do you know that um, anyone got an idea of what sort of support the US government has for this people at the moment? Percentage? You want to try and guess it? Go on. Ten. It's actually eleven percent. The US government has 11% support of its people. Would anyone like to guess what the Ecuadorian government's got? 90. 80. <laughs> Second in the world, there is a, a poll done outside of Ecuador. So it looks like the US government needs to listen to its people more. There are actually a lot of supporters in the US, among the people, for WikiLeaks. Many US citizens are horrified at what's happening. US at the moment. Does anyone know what the NDAA is? Would you know if you know that? Okay, are you aware that the US has been a police state since the beginning of the year? Now in the US, if you are a citizen, you can be arrested without warrant and detained indefinitely without trial. I've had journalists talk to me and they didn't know that. What is the mainstream media doing that they do not know and are not publicising? that the US government, the United States of America, is now a police state, a rogue state, with only 11% support of its citizens, with a president who is able to have a kill list, which he doesn't have to run past the Department of Justice or Congress, and that the US Department of Treasury has, is on record as stating that they would not back the WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks because there was no legal basis for doing it, and yet we had the WikiLeaks blockade. So what's happening with Julian and with WikiLeaks is illegal. It's undemocratic, and it's an example of a rogue state that's gone unchecked. Obama says, yes, we can, and we're saying, no, you can't. They say, they're watching us, and we're saying, well, why watching you back? And, and as other speakers have said here tonight and today, that it is up to the citizen because our government are in their pockets. You only have to look at the extradition act, the changes in the this year, which came after the day after, no, the day before the NDA came live, where our Attorney General changed our extradition act for the first time in Australian history. We citizens can be extradited for minor offences. For the first time, 
we now do not have the full protection of political offences or against the death penalty. This was done a week prior to the time Julian could have been coming home had he been successful in that uh, court case in London. I'll give you a couple of other coincidences. Julian has never had an allegation of sexual nature or a criminal nature made against him apart from her oopsie hacking, which was not criminal. No sexual allegations. He goes to Sweden, starts to arrest up against the US government, suddenly there's two. But that could just be coincidence, wouldn't it? What about the fact that woman A has submitted a condom which she says that Julian broke? And there's no DNA evidence in the condom from either her or her own. Or the fact that woman SW, one of the so-called complainants on the European arrest warrant for extradition, has on the record stating to her friends that she felt railroaded by the police, was so upset that the rape allegation was made against Julian, she wouldn't finish her interview and has still not signed her statement. So these are just some of the facts that the mainstream media doesn't put out. And as Gail has said, they're freely available. Um, if you want to go to Justice for Assange, you can come along with number4.com. It's all there. Or one that you would find even more pertinent than Australian citizens is wlcentral.org slash node slash 1418. 2nd of March 2011, diplomatic and legal briefings to the Australian Parliament, including one by Greg Barnes, in which the government was holding no uncertain terms and with documented evidence that the Swedish prosecution division was not only breaching its own procedures, but human rights as well in Julian's case. There is enough evidence before the Parliament to act upon it and they have not only done nothing, they have lied to the Australian people about it. Nicola Roxon came out in the Q&A and stated that Julian had fled Sweden while knowing full well he hadn't. That he had sought permission from her and was given it. That he had stayed in five weeks, behind five weeks, to be questioned. She refused to question him. He offered to fly back in twice. Twice she he gave paltry excuses for why she couldn't interview him. And as soon as he got out of the country, she issued the European arrest warrant and uh, Interpol red notice to make him look as if he'd fled the country. And for the entire time he's been under house arrest, he's offered to be interviewed at the Swedish Embassy in London, and she has refused, saying that it's against the protocols of Sweden, when she knows full well their signatures to the mutual legal assistance protocol, which enables them to do so. So why does somebody take out a European arrest warrant for questioning and then refuses to question? Don't they want to clear up their sexual allegations? For two years they've had a chance and they don't want to do it. Why not? What would that be? Wouldn't have anything to do with the US grand jury sitting over there trying to figure out how to get the indictment on Julian, would it? Let's go to the US grand jury. No defence material allowed. Four prosecutors, no judge, no defence material allowed, convened in Alexandria, Virginia, which is the highest concentration of military contractor families. That's where the jury pools draw from. So from beginning to end, this has been an abusive legal process, and the government knows it. I asked my son, why are they that they've taken out a European request for arrest warrant for questioning, and they refuse to question you? And he said, it's simple now. If they question me, they have to either drop the case or charge me. If they charge me, they've got to produce the evidence, and they've got no evidence. It's a holding case for US extradition. That's all it is. If he goes to Sweden, he's jailed immediately without questioning, indefinite detention. Just sitting there waiting to make them fit some bogus case they can use against you from the US. Just sitting there until Bradley Manning cracks. 
from the pressure that they're putting under, which the UN has to find us torture. And our government, one of the questions, one of the things that Julian asked about our government, he asked us many, many requests for things that would constitute diplomatic protection. And he asked simply, if they take me to America, can, can you please ask them not to torture me under special administrative measures? And the answer from the Attorney General was no, we won't even ask. So, take questions then.
by pickings and getting to get off the property. They thought, and when the earthquake came, they were told, in no uncertain terms, if you persist in trying to get the Nedra waved up, you won't be getting any aid. They tried to stop Venezuela, giving them cheap oil during that period to alleviate distress so they could rebuild the hospitals and schools. And there was a cable that went out to Washington saying the gold rush is on. And that was for the same US contractors that were found doubling quotes and rorting at Katrina. So when we talk about Haiti being a third world country, a poor country, now we know one of the reasons why. And we cannot fix these things unless we know the causes of them. So that is the reason that WikiLeaks is very important to me as a citizen. Um, there's some talk in the media about leaving this big political activist to the spy during the city. True. I did encourage my children to think compassionately, to feel, to critically question everything, to try and find their own truth, not to be dependent on ideology, um, and uh, to, to, to have a sense of justice. And uh, this, this, this is not a left or right issue, this is now an issue of democracy, and, and the left and the right can, can work together to fight for democracy because without the democracy, without free speech, we haven't got anything. We've just got a totalitarian state, very fast heading there. Not taking the waters fat. 
the problem is still driven the movie is pretty good. Anyone else? Yes, I have a question. How can every individual, and count the individuals, how can every individual support your son? Will you come here today to the start? I Shall we use the truth? Yes, the truth. Alright, so if you've got your pens and papers. Shall we use the truth? Yes. Yes. Uh, but the, hard, the truth is hard to access because a lot of the media, not all, because we've got Phil Dolan, for example, from the Fairfax media, who has been wildly telling the truth. Uh, or maybe the world. No, I mean the truth. Yes, that's the truth I'm talking about. WikiLeaks truth. The truth about our governance. Things they don't want us to know. Hard to access. So I'm going to be very practical. I'm, if I'm any kind of an activist now, a very practical one. And that is you need to know where to get information, all right? Because before you can spread it around, as I would suggest, the church you have to know where to find it. And it has to be accessible to ordinary people. Justicefassange.com is a very big website. It's huge. Um, and it has all the information. But you might, if you're just starting out, you might want to go something to something a bit simpler, just to get a gist of it. And that would be w, uh, wlcentral.org slash node slash 1458. That's not on the back there. Or it's why, that's why I'm saying it's not on the back. Yeah. Okay, now that's Jennifer Robinson's brief to Canberra. And that is really nice and clear, it was written for MPs, so not to end up to the So I had to get that, I'm sorry, but I just had to look at That's a follow-up question. So, so no, no, why not? I'm talking now. Um, so that's a good start because it's the chronology of the Swedish uh, um, uh, investigation and it shows you step by step. I find chronology is very useful in understanding the story. Then you can go to wlcentral.org slash 2486. Oh, that's nice stuff. I've broken that. I've got into the more detail, but it's really the case. And you've got the same address, wlcentral.org slash no 2632. That's my open entry Australian people. That's quite simple, and there's some good links there. So some of those things are more simple than others. So you've got to look at the, there, there, you can go directly there. Take what you want out of it. Take what it graves you. And then start telling everybody. Ringing up Talkback Radio is a good way to go. Uh, if you see journalists writing good stories, then pat them on the back and encourage them. Add a little bit more into the comments. If they're not writing the truth, then tell them they should be doing their job and you put the truth in your comments. Um, you can make flyers and put them in letter boxes. Um, but talk to your friends and family. It's nothing quite like the um, personal contact. With, but you need to have the facts. People, I've found, predominantly respond to the facts, which is what they're not getting in the media. They're getting lots of opinion. Journalism has moved from giving people the facts to people spinning opinion. And we need to get back to the facts. If people aren't stupid, they can make up their own opinions. So give me the facts. I'm reminded of the words of the Dalai Lama. Oh, we're going to do the Dalai Lama another day, okay? But I think you give contributions to take. Any questions about WikiLeaks? Yes, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
story of someone who has really shaken things up, even though it must be my also very uh, hard to be loving someone who's in such a situation. But yeah, if you'd just like to share anything about yourself as a mother, maybe how you, if there was anyone in your family tree who's been going on this journey, you know, like for a long time. Is worthwhile. 